even if you just had a relatively uh, low rate of sea level rise over the next three to five decades, you're probably talking about affecting a quarter of a million people uh, in California. So uh, in, um, in America, we've not really had the experience of how do we relocate populations outside of incidents like West Valley, New York, for instance, or Greensburg, Kansas. Uh, but in uh, the Netherlands, where the Dutch have been trying to hold back the sea uh, through engineering for the last thousand years or so, uh, they recently have recognized that even though they had designed a weir for the 10,000-year storm, uh, that they also have to make room for the river. And they're trying to figure out how to let portions of the low country flood. Uh, portions that they've been trying to protect for a thousand years, they're trying to figure out how to let flood. So the big question will be in certain parts of California, in the urban areas, it will probably be a, a much more challenging question because of the density of the population. Uh, what, what do you relocate? Do you relocate the people? Do you relocate or redesign the public infrastructure? We're talking in, about triage. In your yeah. more rural, except you don't have a lot of rural settings along your beaches, but in your more rural areas, uh, it's going to be a different matter. You know, what's the trade-off between the infrastructure costs and the population base? Uh, and these are questions that we've not faced in the short life of our country, although there are other countries. Uh, Vanuatu in the South Pacific has been shopping for, it's an island in the South Pacific, they've been shopping for a new homeland for almost a decade now because uh, well, they're a coral reef at all, and you don't even have to raise the sea level very much before uh, they need really big water wings.